So hi everyone, I hope you know my name by now. I am Vikas I am a professional actor and model and also a writer for a corporate firm, US based firm. Uh, I would like to start with my father's quote which he says usually in Hindi and I kind of relate with it very much. He says that when you are on the stage, you will be able to listen to what you want to listen to. So thank you everyone for listening to me today. In our time, I think you know, I'm not the last one to speak. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so topic might look a little weird to you uh, because uh, it's something I'm kind of a uh, kind of life explorer. I want to explore the human behavior, how we behave in real life, and this is something I have felt uh, in my nature, in my behavior. So, I thought you know, I'll speak about this topic because. It kind of comes, you know, natural to me when I talk about my behavior. So I think uh, as we go through the presentation, you, one of you, you know, I think some of you might relate to this kind of behavior. I'm trying to say here. So just a general, just to get started, uh, what it looks like to you, like it's a no, no, it's no. What it sounds to you like? Right? What it might be possible? It's okay to say no. Okay. Exactly what it means. No means no. No. Whatever it means. Because uh, usually it uh, what happens, it usually goes with girls, like when somebody is saying no, it's a no. But that's not the only no we have to take care of. Uh, it goes with guys also, with friends also. When you say no but they keep repeating, you know, say yes to something, even if you do not want to. So yes, it's definitely not just for girls, it's for everybody, it's not gender specific. So what I have to is, uh, I would uh, take my example only because I took this topic from my behavior only. Uh, what happens with me, like I am uh, kind of not a much talker. Uh, I kind of talk with people when I am open to, when I know the person very much. It takes me time to you know uh, get easy with someone. Then I talk a lot. <laughs> I don't stop it before you know until I am not very comfortable. I don't open up. Comfortably. Uh, so what happens uh, with this thing, I am generally uh, not able to say no to anyone. So if somebody asks me, can you do that, even if I am not into it, I am not able to do that, but even if I do not want to do it, I will say, okay, I'll do it. For the sake of maybe doing or helping someone, or maybe, uh, maybe I don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, maybe. That might be one of the reasons also. So I just kind of say yes, most of the times. But <laughs> in the last few years, I have realized that it doesn't work that way. With anyone, I think when it's a no in your mind, you know it. Definitely. Somebody asks you something and you straight away know that it's not your thing. Or maybe you can't help that person. But if you say yes, you get yourself into trouble first. And you neither you can't help that person completely. And, and you are not helping definitely yourself. So, uh, and actually uh, saying no comes very tough for a person like me because uh, generally a guy like me or a girl, anyone, what happens, we just, you know, uh, what should I say? Uh, no comes with sometimes arguments because the person who knows you, he or she would expect, you know, he is a man, 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 but all of a sudden if you say no, they would definitely, you know, kind of push you to say yes, you know, because they know you and a no from you would definitely come as a bomb for them, so they won't take no, they would, you know, they would push you, they want to listen yes only from you, because they already know you, you are good to go back, you will say yes or everything. And then no, you don't want to get into argument with your friends, people don't want to hurt them. So probably you can't lift the weight of a no, so that's why you, know, you don't say uh, no. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's uh, I would like to share a story with my friend. He's a childhood buddy. We used to study in school from, I think, uh, 10th standard onwards. We're still together. 
is a very good friend of mine. But what happened? You know, when you were young, he was very shy. He didn't used to talk much. Uh, he was just you know me eat you know gossip and all that stuff simple guy. But as he as he grew and he went to college, he became extremely outspoken. Now he doesn't shut his mouth anywhere. He just wants to speak all the time and he wants things his way only. He won't listen to you even if you say no a thousand times. He will push you to the board until you say yes to whatever he wants you to do. And sometimes it becomes extremely annoying, extremely irritating. <laughs> you know that he's your childhood buddy. You don't want to uh, get into argument with him. You don't want to hurt him probably. Uh, to the contrary, he won't care if you're getting hurt or if you do not want to get into the things he wants you to do. He will push you to any limit. So, uh, and as a So what happens when you keep saying yes to everything that comes your way? Uh, the kind of resentment that piles up in your mind or in your heart maybe. And one fine day you will bust. <laughs> Either it's your family, your friends, your loved one, your partner, anyone can be. So the day you bust, either you're gonna ruin your relationships with your family, maybe your person. So it's better to start saying no to the things that you do not want to do. And it's, it's always better to be upfront then you know, laid back and you know, I'll handle it later, I'll just say yes now, that doesn't work, trust me it doesn't work, <laughs> I've learned it now, so I kind of comfortably say, okay, that's why I'm going to do that for you, <laughs> whoever you are, so as this famous actor says, not this one, <laughs> that this famous actor says, openly is introduced that, uh, uh, say no, open out loud, even if somebody is getting hurt, uh, you should just, you know, you should know how to say it. I think that would be the slide. You should learn the craft, I would say. It's an art to say you know, how to say